To install the screen, first you need to remove the included screws that are used to attach the Raspberry Pi board to the back of the display. Some people prefer to connect the wires first and then proceed with uh, screwing the board to the display. But for me it's just easier to work against two stable surfaces, so I prefer to do it that way. But depends on your preference on how to manipulate cables, so it's your call. The second step is to seat the Pi on top of the, of the display board, being sure that the display connector of the Pi is aligned to the display out connector of the back of the display. Then all you have to do is place the screws back in. After the board is secure, you're going to have to use the included wires to connect the board to the GPIO connector of the Raspberry. You can alternatively use the USB to power the cable, to power the display, I'm sorry, uh, and not even connect anything if you don't need to use the touch screen, it's up to you. Since my project doesn't really require much power, uh, it's easier to just set up it that way and also I'll be sure it was working and, you know, keep a USB port free, etc, etc. Another way to do it is to connect the power to the display instead and use the USB power out of the display to connect it to the powering of the Raspberry. It, but it probably doesn't look so elegant. Maybe if you use a pretty cable. Connecting the wires like this ensures also that the display initialize at the same time as the board to guarantee that they will connect to each other and get configured when you start the boot process. To connect the wires properly, refer to the picture I'm showing here on the screen and connect the pins on the display to the pins on the board as specified. So 5 volts go to 5 volts, ground goes to ground, etc, etc. Please keep in mind that I'm showing here the Raspberry Pi 3 Model B. Next, it's time to connect the ribbon cable with the display signal. The blue ribbon goes facing down and the contact pins are on the top on the display board. And then you just have to wrap it around and connect the other end to the Pi board. If you look carefully, you're going to see the contacts, so it's really not easy to, to miss. Now it's time to power everything on. Just connect the, the charger or the power adapter to the USB port, flip the display around and then switch your device on. I used a, a power extender like extension cord with a switch uh, to make it easier so I don't have to disconnect and reconnect it all the time. I can see here that the display is totally screwed. It's probably running some sort of self-test and I didn't realize at the time that the ribbon, the ribbon connector has a lock and I should lock it both on the Blackberry and on the board. So it's very important to keep in mind also when you disassemble this, the display uh, so you don't damage uh, the ribbon cable when you do so. Here is where the lock is. So again, it's going to be very hard to show on camera but I just slide the cable in and lock the lock. After securing the ribbon cable in place, the board boot boots normally, there's no need to change any configuration and the screen comes up instantly and with the correct resolution set. Also, if all the cables are connected, the touch screen should work just out of the box. Tap the screen and things just work. Plug-ish and play-ish. Thanks for watching and 
I'll have news later.